what types of posts to schedule on social media. Your blog posts. You may, you know, write a blog post today, you share it on a couple different social media platforms, and then what? Do you ever share it again? You know, unless people are liking and retweeting it, did they ever see that article again? Probably not. But it's pretty easy to set up your articles, your blog posts, to post over and over again on social media. And especially when you automate your social media, it's a huge time savings and you can do this regularly without even having to think about it. And isn't that what we all want? I'll tell you what, I do this, I've been doing this for a couple of years for my website. And I get a fair amount of traffic to older articles. And once people come and read an article, they may stay and read some more. But, you know, and if you have a lot of different articles and different subjects, you're going to reach more people by getting those out there more often. And as you grow your audience on your social media platforms, you're going to have new people come in who've never seen that old article or that old post and it may be just what they need. So if you're not sharing it over and over again, you're doing them a disservice. They're never going to see that great content. You're doing yourself a disservice too because you've written good articles, good posts, and you've got good information to share. So you need to be sharing it more than just when it's new. So you want to post on social media, posts that educate and provide value. You know, you just, you don't want to just provide fluff. You want people to know, wow, this Twitter feed, she has got great information. He has got something really valuable here. I'm going to learn something. And when they read posts from you that educate them, provide value, that they have a takeaway from or get an aha from, they're going to come back and remember you and read more. And they're going to want to visit your website. So make sure that you're automating posts that are going to educate people, that provide a good value, and then they're going to want to come back for more. And that's what you want on your social media. You want more engagement. You want them really watching for your post, going, what's she going to post next? You know, this is really great. You want engagement posts. So these can be different than your posts that provide value, as in they could be quotes. You know, really great quotes that are inspiring that are around your specific area of your business, your, you know, USP. And they're, and a USP, if you don't know, is a unique selling proposition. You know, what's unique about you and your website that you're offering people? So, you know, these engagement posts could be quotes and inspiration that relate to your topic of your business. They also could be questions that's going to get um, people thinking and they might be questions that relate to your business. They might also be just some general fun questions that are going to spark engagement such as, you know, what do you what do you like better, the iPhone or the Android phone? You know, spark a debate or something like that. What's the favorite book you read this month? You know, so the Everything does not have to do with your business, and I would say you want, and uh, you want to create that relationship with people. You're going to want to have the majority of your posts relate to what your USP is, but you also want some relationship posts and engagement posts that you schedule, especially like quotes and questions, are really great engagement type of ideas that don't always have to be related to your business, but that you know are going to spark some interaction with people, that people are going to be more likely to like and retweet or to answer and comment on. Um, you could even, at the end of your post, say, hey, if you like this, please retweet it or click like. That's a good way to get more engagement as well. Posts that speak to your audience's pain points. You know, you're building a business, you have a service or a product that you want to sell. What is your audience's pain that means that they need or want that product? And in your automated posts, you can actually speak to that. So, say it's a clean, you're a cleaning business again. Say, oh, 
have you done any laundry today you know or how big is your laundry pile <laughs> that's kind of a an engagement post and one that speaks to their pain point and people can have a lot of fun talking about that or it's you know how often do you do laundry um, and it's like what is the most cluttered area of your house or you know do you actually find time for cleaning your house or how do you find time for cleaning your house or you know are you ashamed to have people over to your house you know so start kind of digging in to those pain points of your audience now this would be a great section to automate and do regularly and we'll get it we'll get into that later like how often you want to post each of these types of things but this is another great category of posts that you want to automate because you want your audience um, your followers to be thinking about oh yeah I really need some help cleaning you know maybe maybe she's got something here because they're gonna see other posts from you that are providing value and educating and then these pain posts are gonna make them go oh maybe I do need that you know maybe that's I, I feel the pain of that. I got a dirty house that I'm not happy about, or I can't seem to get my laundry done. And wow, this other post says that she's got a method that's gonna, you know, make it so much easier. And they're gonna be more interested, more engaged, more likely to buy from you. Posts that lead to your free offer. Social media, automatic social media posting is a great way to regularly put your free offer out in front of your followers and encourage them to sign up and get it. So you should have on your website some free offer so that you can build an email list. And if you're not telling anybody about that offer, they may not know about it. You know, unless they're already coming to your website, but you want to make it prominent for them. But you can also put it out there on social media regularly by scheduling and automating it to show it to people. Now, you can come up with a lot of different headlines or different ways. So, sticking with the cleaning theme, let's say my free offer was, you know, 10 tips to, you know, a clean house in one hour, or, you know, 10 things to do before your guest comes over, say. And then it's, you know, you start automating social media about that. It's like, have a guest coming over, you know, tomorrow night. Do you need to know how to prepare? click here to find out how or it could be you know schedule a party how to prepare for that party click the link to learn tips you need before people come over or you know people coming over you can come up with all sorts of different headlines in different ways you can also post with photos or a short video and that could also link back to your free offer it could be you know showing a house that's a disaster area and it's, you know, on it you could have, you know, need help for before your guests arrive. And then you've got a link for them to click. So there's a lot of different way. But when scheduling and automating your social media, this is a really important category. Because this is what you want people to do. You want them to get on the, your list so that you can provide them great information and offer them services or products that will help solve the problem that they have. And if you're not putting that offer out in front of them regularly, they're not probably signing up. So automate your social media by posting posts that lead to your free offer. 